inside of Kittle, you can actually make some illustrations glow. And so I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. I'm going to make my artboard dark, and then I'm going to go over here to the left-hand side to Elements, and I'm going to type in the word Lightning. I'm going to get back some clip art, some illustrations, and some vectors. And what I'm looking for here is going to, is going to be a vector. So I'm going to start off with a vector. Here is a red illustration of Lightning. Now you can make this any color you want. I'm going to make it yellow, for example. And that's going to be our lightning. Looks pretty good, right? Well, you can also make this glow. And it's pretty easy to do. What you do is you click on the object shadow. It's down at the bottom here. And there's an object shadow where it goes all around. There's an object shadow where it's bottom left. And then there's an object shadow where it's offset in different directions. So I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to click on the first one. And I'm going to make the color radically different. I'm going to make it red, for example. So you can see the red now is starting to come out inside this shape. You can make this offset. And you can see how it's pushing off to the right. And you can change the angle of the offset as well. Now, we don't want to do this for the glow effect. So for the offset, this first one, I'm going to make it actually 0 so that it's not actually pushed off to the side. It's just right stacked right on top of it. And then for the angle, you can make that zero as well, although it doesn't really matter because it's, you're multiplying it by zero. And then for the last one, the blur, this is the one that you want to make nice and big. So you're going to maximize that glow to be whatever color you like. And I'm just going to show you how the glow will look. If you change the color now, say to blue, you'll see that blue now is changing for the lightning. And you can make it white. And that's what I would recommend you do if you're doing true lightning. So I'm going to make my background color nice and dark. And you can see now the lightning, if you without the blur, is just lightning, which looks fine. But with the blur, it's lightning that is in the middle of striking. That's pretty nice. So in this next example, I'm not going to pick an actual vector. I'm going to go into Elements. I'm going to type in lightning again. And I'm going to scroll down and find something that's not a vector. So here's an illustration. You'll notice that when I click on it, there's no option to change the color over on the right-hand side like I would with a vector. I'm just simply going to make it nice and big. And then from here, when I click on the object, you'll notice there's still the same object shadow options here. So I'm going to click the object shadow. I'm going to make my color in this example white. We can see it's already starting to glow a little bit. And then I'm just simply going to up the blur. And just like that, we've got a glow effect. You can change the color of the glow very easily. I can make it yellow, for example. And just like that, you've got a nice glowing effect, even though you're not using a vector. You're using a regular illustration. I hope you found this video walkthrough helpful, very quick, very easy. I love using Kittle. I'll put a link in the video description below. Just a heads up, if you purchase the Kittle subscription, it is an affiliate link, and that just means I would receive a small commission. I love using Kittle. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your graphic design journey using Kittle.